Hello friends, welcome to today's episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we are going to be covering two big leaks that have dropped in regards to the Crown Tundra dropping in two days time. So before we get into anything today, if there are any of you out there watching that do not want to know any information about the Crown Tundra, any spoilers, anything like that, please click away now because we are going to be getting into some information in a little minute uh, that will probably cause spoiling for you uh, so do like i say click away <laughs> you don't want to watch this and um, but for those of you that do want to see some information want to have a look at what my thoughts are on these leaks uh then just sit tight and we'll get straight into it so earlier on today uh there were a couple of tweets from a twitter account uh that dropped and caused a storm on twitter uh amongst um obviously avid leakers and things like that so central pokemon leaks you can see this is the, the the original tweet that dropped earlier on today in regards to um obviously information about the crown tundra and all it is is a little image that they happen to get a uh, hold of and they posted it but it's very pixelated there isn't very much information that you can make from it other than that you can see that there are shiny variants of potentially the legendary pokemon uh that are coming in the crown tundra obviously regieleki reggie draco uh, the two horses that have not been officially confirmed to be named yet calyrex and then the fusion forms with Calyrex. So we know about these horse forms from a data mine earlier in the year that uh, confirmed that they are in the game but we don't actually have their official names yet. There are name placeholders for them but whether they're com they're, they're going to be the official names or not who knows um so this was the image that dropped earlier I did actually see this and I was gonna jump on it and post it but I thought you know all it does is confirm the shinies and it doesn't really confirm too much else it's very pixelated so i didn't really think there was too much in it but since then uh, there's been a bunch of information coming out from central pokemon leaks so obviously these are leaks as well so whether they are 100 percent confirmed or not who knows it is debatable and there'll be people out there that that swear blind that these will but they're you know what they may not be as well so we can't take this as 100 percent so Obviously, they have confirmed that the images below, there are Reggie Alecri, Reggie Drago, the Ice Horse, Ghost Horse, and then Calyrex and the two alternate forms riding each horse. So that's the information that they've said, which kind of hints at the Ice type as one of the horses and then Ghost type as the other, uh, which is kind of interesting. And I'm totally excited about that. I think that's really cool if they, they are the typings of these kind of two horse type pokemon that we're going to be getting to fuse with calyrex um, and then they go on a bit of information about the game you can choose a horse similarly to how you choose a tower for urshifu so that's interesting information there they're not uh, sword or shield exclusive you know they're not on either version supposedly you're going to have the option in these games to choose which one you want to go for like you did in the the isle of armor with with urshifu in the tower there so that's pretty cool and whether or not there's ways to actually farm these horses like we had the opportunity to farm kubfus in the isle of armor that'd be interesting you know i yeah i covered all of that in the isle of armor and if there is a way to do it i'll definitely make sure to cover it in the uh, the crown tundra as well ultra beasts are catchable in the post game which is really cool so uh, we can access them in the post game that i would imagine there's probably some sort of post game story with the ultra beasts with the ultra wormholes and things like that and um, that would make a lot of sense so that's quite cool um and then the legendaries are unlocked as you can access as soon as you can access dynamax adventures and uh, the main story is around four hours so that's some decent information four hours is really good as well i was expecting it not to be as long it's expecting it to be longer than the isle of armor but four hours is a little longer than what i thought was going to be um and then the big leak uh they've just said well here they are images will be deleted soon so we'll see they've been up a little while already so whether or not they will or not we'll soon see but we've got all of the uh the actual the cleared up um 
static images of the, the legendaries and their shiny forms. So we don't need to guess anymore around those pixelated images that we got earlier on. Uh, you can see all the, the uh, legendaries here. We've got the uh, Galarian birds, uh, Galarian Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres and their shiny forms, which is kind of nice because they've got that throwback to the, the Kanto forms, you know, with the Kanto Articuno colors, same with Zapdos and Moltres, um, which is a really nice reference, I guess, for these birds considering that they are a close descendant of the the cantonian birds um regieleki as well it's kind of subtle the the shiny as you can see if you can make it out because obviously it's quite hard with like the amount of watermarks over this image um but regieleki has got uh silver bands instead of those blue ones reggie draco is just it's a bit subtle but it's definitely noticeable more of a silver metallic look uh rather than the kind of charcoal black and then you've got the ice horse which has got maybe more of a purple hue. And then the, the, the ghost horse, which I'm guessing is the right way around. Who knows? Um, but they're, they're definitely more distinguishable, aren't they? Their Calyrex is a bit more yellowy. It's got a bit of more of a gold yellowy tinge, the shiny variant. And then the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether... This is what makes me not believe this, because these images here of the fused Calyrex forms, <laughs> they look kind of... They look not kind of Pokemon-like esque because Calyrex is just sitting riding a horse. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is it just me? Is it just me? It looks kind of ridiculous, but we'll we'll soon find out. Because Calyrex doesn't look like it looks more like a horse itself or kind of a deer, a majestic deer. It doesn't look like it would jump on the back of a horse and take it for a ride but who knows this is pokemon this is the crown tundra we've not been here before many mystical magical things might happen in this land that we do not know about um yeah but they're the shiny forms like i said there's not much variation between them and it's really hard to distinguish in this image but we do get a little bit of information here so that is about it for now but i thought it was quite interesting to kind of put this information out there for those of you that might not be aware of it and were interested um this stuff is the kind of thing i would like to start covering going forward so i thought it's probably a good opportunity like i said i saw those pixelated images earlier but i was like are they really really going to be that useful but turns out we got a bit more information and i'm sure we'll probably get a little bit more information before the games actually come out so it'll be interesting to see what we get from that because I know that they did put out a, a tweet saying that they had information that they weren't able to release yet so we'll see where that goes and if they do and it's stuff that we can put out I will definitely cover it but I'm very excited for the games dropping in a couple of days time hope you are let me know your opinions on the shiny variants and some of the information that we've had here about the crown tundra and whether or not you are believing it or not because obviously until it is officially announced and we get it on the 22nd 23rd uh, when it does drop then we aren't really 100 percent gonna know and uh, this could all be a bit of a ploy but i would say the images look pretty legit um i would probably say they're probably they're probably what we'll get um apart from the color x stuff which i would definitely bet on it not being real the fusion forms anyway but we'll see anyway thank you so much for tuning in hope you find it useful friends hope you have a great rest of your day and i will uh, i'll catch up with you all very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye